Yes or no? All right, but if you're alive and well, I need to know that. Yeah, maybe DJ needs to give a little something to hype him up real quick. Give him something, DJ. All my people, I, I, I gotta have my dancers come out here. And as you guys know, she has a new cookbook that's out also. Yes, Tell I do. It. Yes, I do. So I have a new cookbook. Of course, he said that it's called Cooking with Miss Quad, Live, Laugh, Love, and Eat. And I feel that that is very essential to our life. It we is. must live. I mean, live every moment. We must laugh, honey. Yeah. And we must love. And while doing it, what's wrong with eating? <laughs> huh? Ain't nothing wrong with it. I'm sorry, she needs to live. How about that? <laughs> Yeah, so it's, it's a really great book. It's um, it's something that is near and dear to my heart. I've worked on it actually for two years, Chef. Yep. I don't know if you know that. You know yeah, that, yes, you know that. yes. So I want everyone to understand that it wasn't a situation where because I'm Miss Quad and I have two nationally syndicated shows and a lot of other things in a fire, that uh, it just didn't happen for me overnight. It took some time. I actually had a literary agent who was amazing. He birthed 139,000 authors, okay? But something wow. happened along the way, Chef, where, you know, I don't think he really got me, right? And he didn't know how to package me. So we had to part ways, and that's okay. It is. That's okay. At that moment, I could have gave up. I could have yep. just said, it's too much hard work. You know, he's already been shopping me. No one's biting. You know, I'm just going to walk away from this. But I made a perfect decision that I would not do that. I would not give up. Endurance is the key. Endurance is the key. There we go. So then I went on and I, I acquired another literary agent, right? And we worked together hand in hand, sun up to sun down, day in and day out, right? Until we got the right chemistry, right? And when we got the right chemistry, we began to win together. 
Right? That's what it's about. Winning together. Yes, it is. Exactly. And, it, and, it's, and it's something about when the synergy of two like-minded individuals come together, the, 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 the force, the spirit, everything that's designed to connect, really connects, and that's what you see yourself thrusting in a whole other direction, a whole other level in life. And that's really what it's about. And I always like to share with people, if you're going to connect yourself with people, connect yourself with like-minded individuals. That's good, Chef. Because it's true. It's good. Hey, you surround yourself with four broke people, guess what? You'll be the fifth broke person. Surround yourself with four successful people, you'll be the fifth successful person. That's right. We're going we to take the ladder. <laughs> right. We're going to the <laughs> we gonna touch a degree on that one. Absolutely. Absolutely. You know, food is what? brings us together. Absolutely. I don't care what nationality you are, race, age, what part of the world are you in? That's one thing that we can all agree on is food, and I especially agree. great food. Absolutely. And a recipe, a recipe has always stood the test of time. You yes. know, when we cook it, when we cook in our dishes, you'll see dishes that have transformed, but if you look at the root of them, there's always a basis or foundation of where it truly came from, or where your culture lies. And see, a lot of people seem to think that when they hear me being a Southern boy and I'm all over the world doing cooking shows and things like that, the first thing they want to say is, oh, all you can cook is soul food. Exactly. And what they fail to realize, soul food is indigenous in all of our backgrounds of what we do. That's something that we've inherited by nature. Absolutely. Everything else is just compiled on top of Absolutely. Like the dish that you'll be doing today, which is Oh yeah, baby, we're going to eat good today. So what I'm going to do for you guys, I'm going to do my coconut shrimp with my spicy orange sauce, all right? Now do y'all like some heat? Spicy. I like who like heat? Who like, like spice? You can't come to all and yeah, not like, like heat. Look at you. Baby, you look spicy. I, I know, right? When a black girl's rock shirt on. Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. But no, the whole, the whole concept, of thinking for me behind my cookbook was that I wanted it to be something for everyone. I wanted it to be something for a person who's never ever, you know, went into the kitchen and truthfully don't know how to boil water. That's what my partner used to say, right? But that's okay. So I wanted it for the beginners, the intermediate, and also the advanced. So I'm gonna walk with you through this book. If you all would read it, there's some life lessons in there. It's not all about cooking. And what I also do is attribute some of the things that I do in the kitchen, I apply it to everyday living and life. Wow. You understand what I'm saying? Yes. So that's why I want the people to really get into the book. It is great, it has awesome 100 recipes, right? 100 recipes, great illustrations, but there's some life lessons in that book, y'all. All right? That's what you learn the most at in the kitchen, you know. That's one of the biggest lessons you share to talk to me is always in the kitchen and around the dinner table. Right. Some of the bi biggest memories that take place in life are always around the dinner table. Whether it's the cookout, the family reunion, whatever it is, holidays, Absolutely. the biggest lessons and the biggest key points in life that stick with you are always involved around the dinner table. Point one, we utilize this in the kitchen, time and pace. Cooking is all about time and pace, pacing yourself, catching yes. your time and when things are ne needing to be done, what needs to go on first and what can hold out later. It's time and pace. That's just like how we need to live our life. It is. Timing and pacing. Yep. Sometimes you wonder, why hasn't this happened for me yet? I've been working so hard on it and it just hadn't connected yet. But it's about timing yourselves and pacing yourselves. You understand? You're right. Yeah. So that you'll be ready to step into your destiny. Absolutely. Prime, prime example, the vast majority of the people that, that win the lottery within 12 months are right back broke. You know the reason why? It's because it's a fast track. Now granted we all love, we would all love to win a lottery and, and, and get rich like instantly. Of but the thing is because- I'm gonna go play the numbers later. Exactly. But the <laughs> thing is, is because you haven't been groomed to step into that lifestyle yet. And a lot of times it's about timing and pacing ourselves and going through certain processes so that when you do receive it, you know how to you know how to make it last and how right. to do with it. Yeah, you gotta you gotta do it like Keith Sweat and make it last forever. Always. <laughs> <laughs> that was a cute for you, DJ. She throw it in Keith Sweat on you. The DJ went to sleep on us all. Well, yeah, baby. <laughs> I'm just messing with y'all guys. This is one of the best DJs around. He been rocking it out, so I know you're gonna have a good time with it today. Listen, I am, Chef. I am. I hear you doing your thing over on Cleo TV. Oh 
Oh yes, uh, my new show, New Soul Kitchen. And what I'm doing with New Soul Kitchen is I'm taking the traditional recipes that we boiled up and love so much and modifying them for today's healthy lifestyle. And as I always said, people, when they hear healthy food, they're like, oh, I don't, I don't want to eat healthy, it's going to taste nasty, but the thing is... No, you don't actually have to compromise on the sauce at all. You don't have to compromise on don't. the spice at all, the seasonings at all. At it's all. about the moderation and about what you put in there to make it good. Like, one of the things I do is I do a sweet tea brine fried chicken. Ooh. What you do is you take the chicken, marinate it with sweet tea, you batter it up, then after you batter it up, you're gonna fry it, which is the braising technique, just to get the crust on the outside. Then you finish it off in the oven for 30 minutes. So the my, inside my, my. is baked, pulling all the trans fat and grease out, but still got that crispy crust on the outside. And juicy. Yes, and juicy. Yes, because it's all about it. Nobody, have you ever had some dry chicken? It's the worst, ain't it? Y'all know y'all done been to a couple weddings. Y'all done went down to the wedding, and y'all know they had that dry chicken down to the, the wedding, right? down to the gala and the banquet, and at the charity foundation too. They want you to give all your money, right, and they will give you a $35 chicken that's dry. Exactly. With, with, with some little green beans that's hanging over like this right here. What happened with the crunch? I know, it ain't, <laughs> ain't no crunch. Ain't no crunch, ain't no texture. And that's one of the worst things, you gotta sit there with that smile on your face. Just very green, we call that very green. Yeah. Hey, you know, because the vast majority of the events that we go to are always about the food. I don't care what you say. Think about it like this, or just look at it. You go to a wedding. The wedding, the people walk down the aisle, they was happy, they party, they dance, they loving on each other. If the food is nasty at the reception, it's that's the all everybody talking about. That's all that's, that's all about. you can remember is how bad the food was at the reception. Who did you taste <laughs> that food? That chicken hey, was wrong. Exactly. But on the flip side of that, food ties so much into us. You go to a funeral, and a person is falling all over in the casket, talking about, Lord, why did you have to take them? And crying and shouting. 30 minutes later, they had to repass eating fried chicken and laughing like they ain't put nobody in the ground. But if that macaroni and cheese is good, <laughs> exactly. Ooh, then everybody's having a good time. Always. <laughs> and, and, and that's what it's about, guys. You know, it's about just enjoying life looking for the brightest side of things. We, we know what all we deal with on a day-to-day -day basis, so you should always have those zen moments where you can turn to. For me, and I know obviously for Miss Quiet as well, the kitchen is one of those moments where it can be a stress relief. Absolutely, absolutely. In fact, it's very tranquil for me. Um, you know, in life we all have hardships. We're faced with some things that we're not really ready or prepared for, right? But it's not about being faced with the challenge. It's about how you conduct yourself during the midst of it right? Doing the midst of it. And one of the things that I've done for me, cooking was always my refuge, right? And I, a little bit later, I'm going to tell you the story about how I got into it. What's up, Sora? I see you, baby. Uh-oh. Red's out of the red out the red out. Right out. <laughs> but, you know, uh, it was definitely a place where I found tranquility, you know? And my mom, when I was younger, she always made it fun. It was always exciting. It was never like a daunting task. I know a lot of people don't like to cook. It's like, oh, it's so hot. I'm tired. I'm going to be on my feet all day. Then I got to clean up the kitchen. You know, and it's, it's just really not like that. You take things, one thing, we do a uh, recipe, one thing at a time. Yep. You'll be so yeah. And you know me now. I do my thing. I have Frankie Beverly Mays on. I do my thing. Who likes Frankie out there? Uh, I might hit you with a little Al Green because you know I'm still from Memphis, right? right? And then, of course, I go with Sade every time I turn around. You understand? And then I might have me a little glass of wine. And if I really feel like I'm a big girl, I get a little glass of scotch. Oh, she said the tone for But whatever you do, you do it with fun, you do it lightheartedly, and just have a great time. And you do it with love. You do it with love. And, and, that, and that's what's so enriching about the way that we cook, is because when you're cooking, it brings everyone into your world. The way that you're feeling when you create that meal is expressed. I tell you, you can feel bad, be mad at the world, you go in the kitchen and you fix a meal and you got leftovers and everything and, and you can go a week later and fix the same meal the exact same way and if you feel good, everybody eat it up. And you didn't do anything different to that dish other than the way you were feeling. The way you prepared. Absolutely.
and, and, that, and that's what it's about, is how our energy transcends into, into what we do. And it passes down from generation to generation. Look at that, who, who we got came up here cheesing? <laughs> <laughs> I love y'all too, I love you too, I do, I do, I do. I do. I'm coming to see about you. I'm coming to see about y'all. I promise I am. You know what, guys? I think we got a beautiful crowd. Yes, we do. Go ahead and give us some sort of applause. Wait a minute. I got my dancers coming, too. I'm going to give a love song when I got my dancers coming out when I come out to do my thing. Oh, you got your dancers coming out. Let me see it. 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 Okay. Right, thank you, guys. How about it for quiet?